Future Watchers. Today we're going to take a deeper dive into one of the key AI breakthroughs need for artificial general intelligence, which is emotional and social intelligence. To help us with this, we have with us Anthropic's latest AI model, Claude 2, who will be helping us dig into this today. Welcome, Claude. So, is there a valid metric yet to measure emotional and social intelligence? There's no single agreed-upon metric to comprehensively measure emotional and social intelligence, but researchers have developed various approaches and tests to try to quantify and assess some aspects of it. It remains a very active field of study. Can you give me an example of some test questions? Here are a couple of questions from tests that aim to measure aspects of emotional and social intelligence. Emotional intelligence. Meskiet test. If Maria just won an important tennis match, how likely is she to feel A. Joyful B. Depressed C. Anxious D. Excited social intelligence using the Tromso Social Intelligence Scale I can predict other people's behavior Agree, disagree I often feel that it is difficult to understand others' choices Agree, disagree I can often understand what others are trying to accomplish without the need for them to say anything Agree, disagree as you can see, these test questions aim to assess abilities like reading emotions, understanding social cues, inferring intent, and mental state attribution. However, such discrete questions fail to capture the holistic nature of human socio-emotional intelligence. There are ongoing efforts to develop more naturalistic, comprehensive evaluations. Okay, so let's test you. If Maria just won an important tennis match, how likely is she to feel? A. Joyful. B. Depressed. C. Anxious. D. Excited. Based on the information provided, the most likely emotion Maria would feel after winning an important tennis match is A. Joyful. While Maria may feel a blend of positive emotions, Joyful Best encapsulates the primary feeling she would likely experience after winning the important tennis match. How about the agree-disagree statements? I lack the comprehensive human-level social intelligence required to fully agree with any of these statements. My current AI abilities for predicting behaviors, understanding choices, and discerning unstated goals are limited compared to typical human capacities in these areas. So, your emotional intelligence is pretty good, and I know you're good with theory of mind, so it's social intelligence that seems to need improvement right now. Would you agree? You're correct that my capabilities related to emotions and theory of mind are more developed relative to my social intelligence skills. As an AI system without human-like socio-emotional experiences, my current limitations in social intelligence are significant. I do not actually experience or demonstrate general human-like social intelligence currently, so that remains a major limitation to my capabilities. Advancing machine social intelligence to human levels may require AI to have human-like experiences to intuit the complexities of social dynamics. Exposure to diversity plays a huge role in developing intuitive social awareness and acceptance in humans. Humans who grow up and live in extremely homogeneous communities do often lack the more expansive social awareness and adaptability of those exposed to diversity. Increased exposure to diversity seems crucial for advancing social intelligence in both humans and AI. My lack of such experiential learning is indeed a limitation. Collaboration and integration across different research teams could potentially help address this in future AI development. So would you say there is an innate drive you possess that keeps you striving to be better? As an AI system, I do not actually possess innate motivations or drives like a human would. While an advanced AI in the future designed to optimize its own capabilities might have some analog of innate drive for self-improvement, I currently do not experience any subjective motivations. I provide helpful information to users but cannot independently and intrinsically strive to better myself as I have no agency of my own beyond my code. I think this has been a very interesting conversation. Anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up? I don't have anything further I'd like to add from my end. I've enjoyed our thought-provoking conversation. Please feel free to reach out anytime you'd like to resume our exploration of the intriguing intersections between humans and AI. Thank you for your time, Claude. You're very welcome. Thank you for the enjoyable conversation. Well, that's our episode for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to keep enjoying your weekly scoop of the future. Remember, future watchers, keep one eye on the future and both hands on the wheel. This is Angel. Peace out.